want to thank you all for being here. And I have to say, I think with social distancing that the media has been much nicer. I don't know what it is. All these empty, these in-between chairs. You probably shouldn't have anybody sitting behind you either. You, know, you should probably go back. But I love it. It's so much nicer. But I shouldn't say that because you'll get me now. Uh, this was something that happened that uh, was, uh, some people would say, an act of God. I don't view it as an act of God. I would view it as, uh, as uh, something that just surprised the whole world. And if people would have known about it, it could have stopped, been stopped in place. It could have been stopped right where it came from, China. If we would have known about it, if they would have known about it. But now the whole world almost is inflicted with this horrible, uh, with this horrible virus. And uh, it's too bad. It's too bad. As we race to develop a vaccine, we're also pursuing antiviral therapies. And that's what really we're going to be talking to you about today. That's the purpose of being up here today. And to me, that's uh, even more important. The vaccine, by its nature, you have to have long tests because you have to make sure what goes into somebody's body is not going to do destruction, do bad things. So you need long tests. And uh, they're doing great with the vaccines, but it's still a long process. But the therapies are something we can uh, move on much faster, potentially. I just want to be clear about this. Um, remdesivir is going through the normal process. We are using our internal processes at FDA to set up with the company the protocols to actually collect the data. And you're right. We need to actually know about the safety and the effectiveness, and that's done through the clinical trial process. We know many of you are home practicing the President's guidelines for social distancing. But one thing we should all consider, especially our millennials and Gen Z, is donating blood. Social distancing does not have to mean social disengagement. So give blood today. You'll feel good about it, and you'll be helping your country and your community during this crisis. I don't know if they're sitting like you people are sitting. You're actually sitting too close. You should really, we should probably get rid of about another 75, 80 percent of you. I'll have just two or three that I like in this room. I think that's a great way of doing it. We just figured a new way of doing it. Uh, but you're actually much too close, you know, you two. It amazes me when I read the things that I read. It amazes me when I read the Wall Street Journal, which is always so negative. Uh, it amazes me when I read the New York Times is not even, I don't, I barely read it. You know, we don't distribute it in the White House anymore. And the same thing with the Washington Post. Uh, because, you see, I know the truth.